Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our special Rainwatch update recorded on Friday the 16th of February. And this is a special closer look at rainfall coming up around New Zealand for the next seven days as it's getting very dry out there. We are getting a few showers in the forecast. We'll talk about that. It's the only bit of sort of relief on the horizon is that there will be these hit and miss showers bubbling up. They're the only things that will break the forecast, which is looking mostly dry. So we'll try and break it down for you. A lot of high pressure around the country at the moment. We had a cold front that arrived in Southland and Otago and Fiordland yesterday, Thursday, moving up the South Island at the moment. But with all of this high pressure, uh, that front is going to fall apart. There's also a northeasterly flow in the north here, producing a few isolated showers around Auckland and Northland today but not much in the way of widespread wet weather. We do have a few tropical lows, this one here around Australia and this one here around the Cook Islands, both have some chance of becoming a named tropical cyclone, but they are right at the lowest end of the scale and very borderline as to whether or not that'll actually happen, but some rough weather both in those uh, areas. So let's have a look at the cloud, the kind of fast moving map for the weekend, just shows cloudy weather kind of stuck around us. This is how it ends on Sunday evening with cloudy weather around much of the North Island and that will produce a few showers and then down here towards Sunday evening, that is the next front driving in some rain. So let's break down that rainfall over the weekend for you with our new maps thanks to the weather company. We've got up here isolated showers around the North Island, you're in that low part of the key, 1 to 10 millimetres. If you're lucky, one of those heavier showers might sit over you a bit longer and push those totals up. That's the only way we're going to see those rainfall numbers breaking. And then that front that comes in towards the end of the weekend, that's producing maybe 40 millimetres or so, that will go up more as we go into next week. This is ending at 7 o'clock on Sunday evening. So here, let's have a look at the weekend. So there is that front I just mentioned, trapped between high pressure out here, high pressure out here. Remember the maps we're using at the moment show 24 hours of rainfall. Normally we just show you a snapshot, but because it is so dry now, we can show you 24 hours and it clearly shows you the areas where there is no rain. Now the pale blue that you see pretty much all across the screen, that's just a few showers, one to five millimeters for the most part. So we only see a few showers in the north here, five to 10 millimeters on the west coast, and about the same coming into Fiordland. Elsewhere, it is dry. So you can really see the effect of the big high pressure belt around the country at the moment. On Sunday, I've pushed this out so you can see that possible cyclone up around the Cook Islands. As I say, it's borderline, although that map there certainly makes it look like one, but whether or not it uh, starts to get too far south for them to bother naming it, that sometimes happens as well. But we'll keep an eye on that one, but otherwise, high pressure in charge, and yes, once again, showers isolated here and there, they might move around a little bit more. Uh, to make sense of how much rain's on the way, use our new app or just go to our websites. We've got rainfall totals and the chance of rain in percentage form for every single location in New Zealand. And it helps make sense of these big maps if you find them a bit confusing. But basically the pale blue you're seeing means there's not much in the way of rain. As we go through to Monday, now you can see proper rain clouds coming through. The yellow uh, shading on the side here, that's 10 to 15 millimeters or 20 millimeters or so. It's not massive totals for you know, the West Coast, but it does show you that there is a change coming through and it's windier, which means Monday is going to be hot, especially in the Eastern North Island, but the blue line here means a colder change is coming through. So as you can see here with the temperatures, the orange shading means you're into the mid to late 20s. And then we go through to Monday, places like Christchurch, Hastings, you know, pretty hot. Same with the top of the country. We may be seeing those go even higher. Sometimes the, the maximum temperature's a little bit low balled. You get a nor'wester and some sun, and suddenly it's 31, 32 degrees. That is certainly possible along the eastern side of the country, but cooler through Wellington with the wind, and down in Dunedin, that new southerly change is just about to move through. So here on Tuesday, you can see it, the southerly coming up the country, makes it as far north as about Hawke's Bay and Gisborne by the end of the day. Now again, the pale blue and the blue shading here, five to 10 millimeters for the most part. Maybe some of you will go a little higher if you get a downpour that lingers, but you get the picture. It's not a lot of rain. Heaviest falls over here towards Australia with the yellow and orange shading. And that's because the next big high is coming on through and the storm that produced the wet weather well down here in the Southern Ocean. So windy for the Chatham Islands, uh, cooler down here around Southland and Otago, coastal Otago in particular, Banks Peninsula, Wellington, Wider Upper, all of those places will be significantly cooler on Tuesday than you were on the Monday. 
Then we get through to Wednesday and those showers carry on. That's part of that southerly change. Still coming in now to the eastern side of the North Island with wet weather coming in for Hawke's Bay and Gisborne and maybe curving around into parts of Bay of Plenty, eastern Coromandel Peninsula, and hopefully later on in the day getting up to the Bay of Islands where it's been very dry lately. But this is a powerful high. 1030 hectopascals, that's a big strong high, kind of elbows out the rain, keeps it away from us and keeps conditions mostly dry. So as we go towards the end of next week, not a great deal of change. Some isolated showers in here, potentially a little bit of green shading around Coromandel that shows that maybe some heavier isolated falls. So keep up to date with your local forecast that we've got to try and make sense of all of these different rain maps. And then we get through to Friday and it's very similar to Thursday, most of the showers are around the North Island, mostly from Central Plateau northwards. They'll be hit and miss again, so some will get relief, others mostly won't. It'll just be a little bit of wet weather and the heat comes back here, Norwesters coming back down to the South Island. So that is the next week ahead. This map here consolidates all of the rain maps into one to show you just how much rain is on the way. And as you can tell, it is not very much. So the areas with the heaviest rainfall around here in the yellow shading, that's up to about 20 millimeters, maybe 30, just depends. Uh, and Waikato, you're in that green area, so 10 to 15. And again, it's you get into South Waikato and you're only talking about one to five. So these are showers, they're not widespread areas of rain. So pretty dry, maybe nothing for Nelson, pretty much nothing for Marlborough, Maybe nothing for Arrow uh, for um, I was going to say Arrowtown, but actually I mean Alexandra. And then on the west coast, that's where you're seeing that rain build up a little more. But again, it's only about 40 to 50 millimeters in our rainforest. So we are pretty much getting stuck under high pressure for the next seven days coming up. Uh, but hopefully after that, we'll start to see more sort of widespread showers coming through, especially as we go towards March. Usually in March, we start to get that autumn weather pattern which is already being noticed down here in the southern part of New Zealand, spreading further up the country. So fingers crossed, because we are getting very dry in some regions now, and the next week ahead, as you can see, may not be bringing relief to everybody that needs it. That's all from me. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday.